How you doing everybody? It's me, Rebecca. With Minecraft 1.21, the Turkey Trials update officially done and dusted and in the bucket. It's about time we set our eyes to the horizon. What comes next? Now, I would say I'm pretty in tune with and active inside of the community. Over the past couple of months, I've seen theory on theory on theory. Today, we'll be zooming in on the dustiest Minecraft biome of them all. Tap that like button because here is every single potential a desert update hint. The obvious one, 2018, which on a side note, isn't it kind of insane that the whole wiki page for the 2018 Minecon Earth ceremony is like so small? As a side note, main note, the biome of vote for that year had a total of 54,000 votes on the second round. That is, <laughs> that's so small. Ah, but of course, yes, the biomes that we were voting on in that year, the Savannah biome, the Taiga biome, and the Desert biome. Now, pretty famously, that year, the Taiga biome won the fan vote, which meant inside of the 1.14 update at the time, that feels like a million years ago, inside of 1.14, the Sweetberry, the Fox, and... <laughs> well, something else will get added to the game. Not just for research purposes, sliding things ahead one year, 2019, they did a biome vote again. This time, biome vote numbers got a little bit larger. Inside of that vote, thankfully, the mountains biome won, which led to the caves and glyphs update. A little bit later on in the future, 1.19, the wild update updated everything they said they would add if the swamp won. So that right there establishes all of the precedent that we needed for this one. To dive straight into the desert update, first things first, of course, the desert update itself. Whenever the desert does get an update, we know for sure we're going to see three things locked in. Meerkats, palm trees, and oasis. Whatever that means. But, you know, I think we should rewind things a little bit and take a look at Minecraft biomes as a whole. So taking a look at the overworld, of course, all across it, we have tons of different stuff going on. To knock out like half of the overworld real quick, we've got oceans. Now the oceans got a whole update in 1.13. Kind of funny, at least nowadays, compared to what they've done more recently. The oceans again feel empty. Then we've got other biomes, like for example, the taiga that just got a small update, the forest biome, the plains biome, the savannah biome that also just got an update, and yeah, other biomes on biomes. Now, it's not to say that the desert biome is the only biome that needs an update because, uh, yeah, for the looks of this art and the looks of this nightmare, yeah, there are some other biomes, at least one that needs an update. But by taking a look at a lot of the other biomes in the overworld and what's going on inside of them, a very glaring thing pops out about the desert. So the desert biome is one of Minecraft's oldest biomes. In fact, this biome was added way back in V1.2.0 of the alpha version of the game. The desert was actually first added as soon as the biomes were added. So it's essentially been here since the start. Since the addition of the desert biome, so many things have been added to the game, including, well, practically the entire game itself. However, almost the entire time, the desert has remained essentially the same. Empty. Time jumping ahead to last year, Minecraft 1.20 update. Inside of the amazing 1.20 update, a brand new biome was added to the game, the cherry blossom biome. This thing is beautiful, it's great, it's wonderful. Fast forwarding even more to this year, inside of Tricky Trials update, for the first time in a long time, not a single biome was added to the game. Now you keep that in mind for a minute because we're gonna come back to why that's so significant. When the desert gets updated, we've got palm trees, we've got cats, we've got the oasis biome. For this potential desert update, I believe that Mojang will do something probably pretty similar to what they did in 1.19 with the swamp updates. Instead of just digging the old swamp and slapping a bunch of new trees in it, they actually came up with a brand new biome, the mangrove swamp biome. The biome is insanely dense with all the new trees. It's got frogs like they said it would. And of course, you can ride chess boat inside of it. The Minecraft 1.20 added the cherry blossom biome. The developers like to try and keep a Minecraft updates balanced. So for example, maybe one update is all about farming. You could argue with those brand new tree mechanics and definitely the addition of mud that 1.19 is sort of like our farming update. Next up, we've got Minecraft 1.20, which is obviously very clearly with all of the additions to the game. We're talking sherds, we're talking trims, we're talking everything that was added in 1.20. It's very clearly sort of like mainly an exploration update. And then most recently, I mean, it's front and center. They called it it from the start, a technical and combat update. Now, each Minecraft update doesn't only lock in at one thing. Of course, they add a little bit of something or try to add something for everybody in the game, but it's been a minute since they've added a brand new biome to the game now. Almost for certain, whatever 1.22 does end up being, it's probably going to add a biome to the game. And if we want to talk about upgrading current things in the game, the desert is clearly the most glaring opportunity. 
But will they actually update the old desert or just add a brand new biome variant to the game? The Oasis biome with a brand new wood type. Another thing that would make perfect sense to be inside of a Minecraft 1.22. Considering the fact that this wasn't inside of a Minecraft 1.21. I mean, it's got to be coming to the game at some point. And what better opportunity for a brand new wood type than a palm tree? A type of tree that players have been asking for, dreaming of, for essentially centuries. With coconuts. Potentially a brand new drink or food. Now, I don't want to get too hopeful here, but drink or food, depending on what the devs are planning on cooking up, I just look, I'm over it. The frying table, I'm so over it, right? It wouldn't actually be a thing, but what if it was? Mmm, yes, meerkats. Meerkats are the really interesting thing. It kind of almost like a, a little curveball. Look at this. So adorable. The meerkat. Does anyone know what these things actually even do? <laughs> when the Minecraft developers added the armadillo inside of 1.20.5, they noted something very interesting. That this was the fastest mob that they ever developed. Developing it in the span of like four months. That mob is also super high quality, which makes me wonder if maybe the armadillo in this whole year, everything that went down, is sort of like a test run, a practice, if you will. What if maybe, oh, sorry about that, little buddy. Was the armadillo all a test run for the idea of adding more other mobs? Maybe mobs that have been waiting years and years over into the game finally at last, and maybe the meerkat will be the big dangerous bad guy of the desert. Please, I'm so sorry. I was just mining. No, not another one no oh, more everywhere get me out of here <laughs> okay so we got the framework there brand new tree maybe a food type the meerkat all inside of a brand new biome this biome just like how the swamp update did would probably spill over into the classic desert as well i could see a palm tree scattered across the desert every once in a while and meerkats definitely for sure and the devs haven't really upgraded the desert in quite some time aside from some minor structure adjustments inside of 1.20 I'm over it. I swear I'm over it. It's so over. It's such the past. What in the world is that? What is that? I'm not over it. What was that? And then Bond said it was like, hey, it's just nothing. But that's what you would say if it was actually something and you accidentally leak some our next big hint or reasoning that 1.22 could be the desert update has to do with that image from nenbon so from taking a look at that image it definitely looked like they were messing around with layers inside of the desert except this time the layers didn't seem to be one eighth of a block instead they seemed to be one quarter of a block that would lead to basically three different layers of sand being possible and then the full block itself now, different layers inside of the desert, there are so many different ways the devs could tackle this one, but it kind of all fits in perfectly with the dev statement of wanting to eventually improve the ambiance around the overworld. But here's the thing, the idea of taking the desert and really overcomplicating it, like making every single block not a full block anymore, that doesn't exactly make sense. Instead, how I think a sand layer thing might be done if added to the desert might be in some sort of brand new weather thinking about other things in minecraft that are so underappreciated i mean weather three systems but it's really just two even more insane though when you want to talk about the desert weather there is literally one weather system that exists inside of the desert is still to this day 2024 when it rains it actually doesn't rain inside of the desert or any other warm biome the devs have to see this as like maybe at least a small issue small problem decently recently jeb was also talking about how it's so annoying to exist inside of a snow biome and try and like do anything because of the whole snow layer stuff that goes on maybe does all of this amount to some sort of reworking of weather systems across the world including inside of the desert biome like nenbom seem to have been testing quite some time ago now now for this next part of the theory let's go big and go home there are many things that have gone down that point towards a desert update eventually being in the cards but thinking back to the beginning of the video when we we're talking about the different biome chooser biomes that are due for an update I, I i mean they're all right here and almost always they're all right next to each other too you've got the desert biome you've got the badlands biome and you've got the savannah biome all three biomes still due for an update this was a theory that I talked about quite extensively leading up to the announcement of, I think it was either 1.19 or maybe 1.20. I don't remember any more of the specific update, but I know that it's been a, a while. Let's say the devs wanted to do a biome update, sort of like they did in 1.19, except in the modern era, 1.22, they've sped up their development speed. It no longer is going to take them essentially an entire update to add a brand new mob to the game. Instead, they've showed us that they could probably do that in like a couple of months, especially if the mob doesn't have too much depth to it. Well, if that's the case, then why would they spend a whole year updating the desert when they could probably spend the whole year updating three biomes instead? 
three biomes that fit in perfectly with each other. If you want to talk about clearing up that to-do list, I mean, this one is a no-brainer. The potential Badlands expansion would see brand new tumbleweed plants adding to the ambiance, a new type of cactus, and sometimes from time to time in the sky, completely empty right now, the vulture. Meanwhile, the Savannah update, we get another brand new tree, we get the ostrich, and we get termites, potentially great for farms. I don't know if this one specifically counts as necessarily a desert update hint, but I feel like it makes a whole lot of sense. So we've made it almost all the way to the end today. If you could update any biome inside of the overworld in 1.22, what would it be? And do you think there's any chance the desert gets updated in 1.22? Tell me all about it all down below in the comments. The very final hint that I would like to talk about, and don't, don't take this one that seriously, please don't, but the very final thing that I would like to talk about today is the one thing that kind of inspired this entire video. It gave me the idea. We took Jeb from Minecraft to meet some Australian mobs at the Taronga Zoo in... <laughs> in sydney you say all right now before we talk about this one right here friends this isn't a hint we just took our mate to the zoo hope this helps it's not a hint so they said it's not a hint but that's exactly what somebody would do if they realized maybe they messed up and needed to cover their shoes now would a kangaroo go inside of the desert biome or would it go inside of the savannah biome mm, probably more like savannah or even badlands biome however they did kind of just update both of these biomes with a brand new mob the armadillo so maybe desert all right um, maybe what we learned today is there's actually a solid theory for all three biomes getting updated at the same time for more upcoming minecraft updates check out this video next tap like subscribe it's been me waddles and i'll see you all tomorrow thanks for watching hope you had fun